Hi, it's Joe here from Joe's Country Junction and I am at the quilting machine today and I am working on my simple charm quilt that I am giving to my son Carl. And I am working on a design that I call All Boxed In. And I will give you, flip the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here we are with All Boxed In. You can just see that it's a series of um, you come down like this and you're just making boxes and the boxes kind of just go round and round. You can probably see it better on this lighter fabric right here. You can just kind of see that it's a whole group of boxes. This is one of my favorite designs to do. It's more of a masculine feel. Um, here you can, if this block is done, but you can't even see it on there, but you can go over here and see this block. Maybe you can probably see it best if I just kind of focus right here. And so I'm going to show you how to do this boxy design. It's really pretty simple it's and easy. It's one of the first quilting motifs that I started doing. Um, I do this a lot. Well, I do it some on square quilts. I do it a lot on baby quilts. Um, if you're looking for like a masculine look to the quilting pattern, I really like this. So I'll take you over to the whiteboard and we can check it out there. I'm here at the whiteboard and we are doing the design all boxed in and I'm um, sorry I'm kind of cut off but I want you to be able to see the whiteboard and that's more important than seeing me. So here we go. This is kind of what I do. I start out by coming over, down, over and you can see that I've got three sides. So then I come up but I don't go all the way up. I just come over and then I might go up over, down, up. I don't know if that, if you're kind of getting the idea, but then you can kind of change directions a little bit. The idea basically is, is that you close off and you make these boxes, but you don't um, go all the way like to make a traditional end to a box. So. We're going over, we want to travel, we want to get over into here, so then we're just going to make a half a box so we can fill that space in there. And you just go like this, and you keep making your boxes. Mine are kind of wonky because my hand can't go quite the way it needs to. But you can see that you can put in longer pieces to get yourself to be able to travel. And um, when you do this design, I suggest that you try to decide if you're going to try to do all boxes, if you're going to try to do rectangles, or if you're going to try to do a mixture of each. Because it looks good if you kind of, looks best if you do uh, try to make it as standard as you can. And so you can really get really super picky with it, and you can try to do all boxes, you know, and all squares and you try to get your squares to be, you know, very much the same size. And you can do that. I you typically don't do that because it's harder to do and if they get off then it's hard. And so I try to just usually do a mixture. So I do some squares and then I'll do some longer rectangles. And then um you can just keep going like this. You know, and then I'll just throw a really a smaller square in too. So I try to do a, a mix up kind of more like that, if that makes sense. And um, I think it's good if you can try to keep your spacing like here kind of uniform as much as you can. Um, I don't know. Overall, I just really love this design. It's really quick and easy to just um, jump on the machine and go. So I'm going to do it one more time for you and you can watch as I go this is a um, although I'm calling it all boxed in this is a design that's really hard to get boxed in because even if you would kind of feel like you could there's nowhere for you to go you can always come in and go like this 
and how you see how I just crossed that right there and that wasn't as much as a box. I don't recommend doing that all the time, but if you, you get into a tight squeeze, you can do something like that. And it's easy to get like this space filled in here where you just come down and then you just fill that space in right here. Maybe you wanna put a rectangle. As I said, this is a really good um, masculine design. Um, I, I, I just really like to use it on, oh, boxy or square quilts that are going to be for men. And so that's what I'm calling all boxed in. And I'll take you to the machine and we can check it out at the machine next. Okay, I'm at the machine now and I am just going to go and you can follow along with me. It's gonna be easier for you to see on some of these light colored blocks, probably harder for you to see on some of these blocks. I'm using a thread called Drab Green and it blends into the fabric really well. So we'll see how this goes and how much you can see. So here we go.